As a motion designer, I believe learning different techniques is essential to keep evolving. That's why I want to explore the 3D world of Cinema 4D. Today we're learning about the cloner and fields. Let's move some pixels around. Alright, let's start with creating a cube. Make sure it's editable by pressing C. Then go into edge mode and press UL for a loop selection. Then double click on the material panel and drag that material to the selected phases of the cube. Disable reflections and color and enable luminance. Change the luminance to black. Create a other material and drag that to the cube object and make sure the black is the last color. Disable reflectance and luminance and change the luminance color to a yellow. Make sure we go into object mode, select the cube, create a cloner and make sure the cube is a child of the cloner. Let's change the count to 44 by 1 by 44. Let's add a camera and change the focal length to 135. Go to coordinates, change the X to 11100, the Y to 6560 and the Z to minus 11111. Change the H to 45 and the P to minus 22. Make sure we select the cloner, then add a field effector. Select the field, go to the parameters tab and change the Y to 666. Go to the field tab, click on the spherical field, select the spherical field and change the size 716. Go to remapping, change the inner offset to zero. Right click on the spherical field, animation tags, vibrant tag. Select the vibrant tag, enable the position, set the amplitude to 3000, 0, 3000, the seed to 4.2, and the frequency to 0.5. That's it, now you have created this wiggle animation. If you like to download the source files and help out this channel, check out the link below. Thank you for watching, till next week.